Hi, today we're going to be talking about integers. Our lesson intent today is what actually is an integer? Integer. Okay. Second of all, we're going to be how are we going to use addition? Okay. And also subtraction. There we go. When we talk about integers, all we're saying is that they're whole numbers. For example, 5, negative 3, 2, 100. They're all numbers, but they're all in their whole form. What we're going to be doing today, though, we're going to be dealing with negative and positive integers. Now, the best way to do this is to have a look at it on a number line first. Okay, so what we have here is our number line. You would have seen this in primary school. You probably saw it last year as well. So let's go. Okay. So we know from other years, pretty basic addition. So we're gonna be dealing here with the addition. So we know that 3 plus 3 equals 6. Okay, so we know from primary school that 1 plus 2 equals 3. So if we start here at 1 and we add 2, 1, 2, we will get 3 which is exactly what we have up here. Where things can get a little bit complicated though is when we're dealing with negative numbers. But the theory and the process behind it is still exactly the same. Okay, so let's say we had negative three plus negative one. What do you think the answer is? So we're starting here at three and we're adding a ne another negative number. So we're actually going back one this way. So the answer is negative four. So we're not adding it this way because yes, an addition is positive, but here is our negative number. So that says to us, hey, we've got to go this way. Similarly, for example, let's say we had negative three and we wanted to add one. In this case, we're starting at three. Now we're going to a positive one. So it's actually going this way. So it's a negative two. Okay, so we have covered our addition. Now let's have a look at our subtraction. So let's say we have four, take two. Now we know that it's two. Okay, so this is primary school stuff. So we're starting here and we're going one, two, because we're going negative, we're going backwards. So the answer is two. So let's say we start at zero. We're starting here and we take three. Okay, so this is a positive number, but because this is negative, we're going backwards. So we're going this way, okay? So we start here at zero, one, two, three. So the answer is negative three. Okay, so let's do, let's do one that's slightly more difficult. Let's say we start with negative one and we take negative two. What do you think the answer is? Remember from before, two positives make a positive. Two negatives also make a positive, okay? So in actual fact, what we're saying here is negative one, because remember we have, let me get another pen for you, these two negatives here are actually making a positive. Therefore, what we're actually saying is negative one plus two. So negative one plus two is one. And let's see. So here we are here, negative one. We're plusing two, so one, two. And we get one there. Okay, so now that we've dealt with our number line, let's have a go and let's do a, a practice. 
Okay, so with our practice, if you want, draw a number line, a new one for this for these exercises. If you think you can do it in your head, fantastic. Either way is fine. So let's go to number A. Let's go 5 plus negative 2. Work out the answer for that one. B. 6 plus negative 5. C. Negative 5 plus 7. And last but not least, D. 3 plus negative 3. So have a go and let's have a look at those answers once you're finished.